Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom also to the one dirt Israelites, which include you Tudor's children, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Indians. Also, the blood descendants on their father's side, okay, whose seed line goes back to Jacob. Okay, and if you are a blood descendant, first and foremost, which you have to be, uh, all what depends, uh, all what matters is your blood, not your skin color, not your hair texture, not your hair texture, not your. Okay, not because you like rap music, okay, not because you clothe yourself. You use clothing of Native Americans, okay, but you are E. No, okay, what matters is your blood, okay? And today, okay, you know, we want to talk about um, arguing, okay? You may know this from your work, you may know this from your home, you may know this from your sports team, you may know this from your whatever you're in man okay it maybe is even your woman or your man at home at, uh, uh, just like that okay you want to talk about arguing with people okay mm. of course i don't say oh be that super um you know that super uh, what is it? Over, overly uh, nice guy. Okay, that says yes and and you know and uh, every time and doesn't even have his own opinion on things. Okay, and but that wouldn't fit you anyway because you are listening to this video. That means you have some knowledge of the truth. Okay, especially. I mean, to those who are in the truth, actually, okay, you would be a yes, uh, I say yes to everything uh, type of person, but since you are in the truth, you aren't, okay, so that's, of course, good, but, you know, not being caught up in this matrix, of course, you know, but I mean, you know, we are the light of the world, okay, and sometimes people are just wicked, but which means if you uh what is it okay we are lamps between wolves okay so sometimes if you try to argue remember one thing okay too much arguing is anyway not good okay for the wicked also not for us okay because the, all that arguing okay is what the Timonites, the east do you know they sit together 20 people but they don't argue to come to a really conclusion. They just argue, argue that in the end everybody can still have his own opinion. But we not like that, man. Okay, we have a law. Everybody would agree, okay, on certain on biblical points, which are given by the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Okay, so that arguing thing is not somebody something what you really want for your life. And remember, we understand that. That's why we are in the truth, okay? There is no arguing about if swine's flesh is unclean or clean. No! Okay? Like the scripture says, be uh, careful that you will not fall into these different philosophies and philosophy itself, okay? You can't argue with a, with a brother that is in the truth about if swine's flesh, oh, you know, today it wouldn't be unclean because they produce it from certain farms that are really separated and no it is unclean you get what i'm talking about you get the point right you see and that's why we want to point out some scriptures about arguing and i really w want to come to the point quick man okay talking about that because it's important for all your life man not just the truth but also you your um you know your what is it life as a fallen angel in a in a world full, full of demons basically okay or as a future king okay 
in a world full, full of um, what is it you know uh, wicked okay full of wicked people and uh, confusion okay because all that wickedness in the end is just confusion that will not benefit you in any kind of way okay just think about it that way okay um wob uh, robbing a bank will benefit you today but tomorrow it will be that you will be in jail okay that's just a quick example but it's basically what wickedness is okay they think they will not get a bill for all what they <laughs> no man they even know that they will get the bill okay look at the scriptures talking about um okay say to the mountains they will say to the mountains hide us from the wrath of the lamb and things like that they know man okay especially these starting from the witches okay but anyway this is for second timothy 2 23 to 24 but foolish and unlearned questions avoid knowing that they do gender strives you see clearly interesting these points what we have here in the scriptures okay let's go to the next one Proverbs 15 and 1 a soft answer turn it away with but grievous words stir up anger okay of course i admit that sometimes you don't know anymore what uh, you know you can you can say in a soft way to somebody that he is an asshole in the end it will be still you know the the um the word there what makes the difference okay being actually really aggressive but you know you have to keep in mind but that this is something which um fits to all time okay from the time where they wrote these things okay proverbs for example to the time now so do you really think yeah how about shemi how shai wrote this for uh uh for the um what is it without a reason no of course not so what we um can learn out of this is that you have to find a balance between everything okay because of course it is like that but look at the time we're in and look at the different um circumstances again what i said okay you can say to, to somebody uh, uh, in a soft way you are an asshole you can say it also in for example if at your working place your boss says five times the same thing do this please that way not that not that way okay and you understand it and it's even not just a complicated thing okay but would you really start arguing okay about the topic after you hear it five times no okay so arguing can even be uh, a way to being aggressive okay for example you try to make this exact thing right the fifth time okay but now all of a sudden you start arguing okay why you should why you should do it anyway okay that makes no sense why you tried it four times before okay so you have to try 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 that's all what this life about what this life is about man trying 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 man okay try to be a light unto the people try to be um what is it conform and good to everyone as long as it is on your side when somebody has a problem with you he has a problem with you okay you can be even that nice guy and it will still not change okay you can even be in the white and he's in the wrong it will still not change he has a problem with you or she okay and that would only make sense if you come into the scriptures and read these lessons because what let me get that okay to close out you see proverbs 23 and 9 speak not in the ears of a fool for he will des despise the wisdom of the words exactly you see because he will maybe be in the wrong already but now you start arguing and arguing okay but he really has no understanding or common knowledge or common uh, what is it wisdom to um maybe he's even disabled in some way okay 
that can be also so be mindful of these things you know today it's basically confusion everywhere and you don't know uh, what these people into man okay so the best is to really wait have pa having patience and look looking for the answer from on high from yahweh maybe you want to even pray okay but waiting that yahweh Baal Shem Shai does something because he sees everything and when he does something you better believe that the answer or the effect of you uh, being treated that way let me say like that somebody you know really has a problem with you but I really don't hope but it can be okay you see so that's what we want to use to close out this video man okay you see because that's the important thing in the end how your relationship with Yahweh Baal Shem Shai is not with these people. Okay, because think about it. Yahweh Baal Shem Shai can give you a million dollars right tomorrow and you wouldn't care about your relationships to these wicked people or, or about some bus or whatever. No. You buy a really big house for the brotherhood and that's what you do, man. Okay. Okay, that would be the, that would be the, um, what is it, um, the use of your money, okay, to do things that are basically worth it, okay. It's not worth buying you a car for um, three, uh, two dirt of the money you received with that, okay. It's worth maybe to buy a little better car that, I don't know, that um can i don't know that has different uh, uh um what is it technology that can be used to i don't know to transport you better from one place to another i don't know you know i don't say if you win a million dollars tomorrow what you shouldn't what shouldn't be your wish in any kind of kind of way of course it's better to get maybe you know ten thousand or one hundred thousand okay we talk about that thing, uh, you know, where you witch witch all of a sudden, okay? You don't want that really, you know? But anyway, I don't say it's bad, okay, for you to buy a man, man, uh, um, car. Let's say, let's say you win 50,000, okay? And you buy a car for maybe 10,000 or 15,000 and the rest you use for a house, you know, for the brotherhood. So we... We can be together and things like that. Okay, I don't say I'm not the one who goes there and says, oh, that was uh, exactly 160 euros or dollars too much. Okay, I'm not the one. You see, if there is one, then Yahweh Baal Shem Shai first off. And second of all, okay, it's not stupid to invest also in some kind of transportation. And of course, you want to care for the border, so you buy a house, right? And a house is really expensive as today, the more, okay? So, you know, you are the one who says, oh, 50,000 for a car is too much. I will use only 10,000 for that car and the rest is for the house, for the border. You know what I'm talking about here, right? You can argue all day, but in the end, you can judge, you can judge somebody that has um, pure dogs, okay? Especially when it comes to people being in the truth, okay? Because if I think about it, the even if you would say, oh, your dogs with these different other people are not pure. Oh, but actually they are, because if I think about that the pure, um, that the pure, pureness would be that you expect this end time, uh, this world time to end, to stop all that wickedness. Because right where we were, right where we talk, right at this moment when we talk, there are people being raped, people being, young children being, being killed, and and uh, all this stuff, man. Okay, so you want it to end. So it, if it's necessary to kill most of the people to end this and to start a better new world, it's a pure dark, and nobody can say you are in the wrong and your dogs are not poor you see that makes a difference between us and the other people you see like the scripture says man like the scripture says if god is for us who can be against us because god would be the only one who knows who knows 
the real dogs of you okay people say you're that you are this but in the end they don't know you okay even your f your own family and you may know it from yourself don't know you in some kind of uh, relationships and some kind of things you know if you think about it. but anyway i don't want to make this too long with that hopefully you received the message of this video shalom to the brothers and sisters and everybody who is listening okay